Okay, so we're gonna. Okay, guys, core warning. Leave if you can't handle gore. <laughs> okay, <laughs> three, two, one. In. Well, I sure wasn't the one for happy people, let alone anything. I always denied the fact that assault would be a beautiful place if you know how to treat it. But, of course, like I said, I wasn't a happy person in the past. And treated every soul as if it was a burden. You don't know what I'm talking about. I'll just tell you what I mean. I ignored people until they said something. And I talked to them as if they were a friend that forgot about me and ignored me. When I wasn't the happy soul, I was feared. And I'm not going to lie. Being feared is pretty fun. But if you look into anyone's wide eyes as they're horror stricken, you'll be hit with a burden. So hard you'll fall to your knees and think, is this who I really am? And no, it's not who you really are. It's just your soul saying, I'm mad at you, and you're going to pay. Or, or why did you do that? How did you do that? <laughs> so, this is a story about a seed that tried to grow, but the trees took everything first. And you know, when I, when I say seed, I mean a small wolf, who was always last into her soul, said, I've had enough. So I guess I'm going to tell you a bit about her. First things first, her name was Dark, and the only thing that was Dark about her was her soul and her mind. Because her fur is literally pure white. Okay, you can go ahead. Okay. Next, she was a runt, but never let a fight go until it was her that won. She had three sisters and two brothers. Oh, my God. <laughs> her main sister was Moonfloater, the favored one. Her two brothers were Tyler and Rake. Rake was another favored child. Then Arctic, a half-sister, Dark's only friend until Trout. They adopted, oh yeah, you're in this book as well. Uh, Trout, they adopted Trout, and ever since then, Dark only ever had Trout. They had lots to talk about. No, they never fought as a partner, they fought as one. Okay, now, okay. So, Dark grew up in an okay place. Her family lived up in a tree. She lived with Dark. Trout, okay, under the tree. Okay, quick side note. Her parents practically ignored her, and whenever she tried to talk to them, they would be as rude as possible. What? Nothing. <laughs> you say. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, um. She lived the trout, Ar Arctic, and Tyler under the tree. <laughs> she hunted for everyone and got the scraps unless she went and snuck prey under the tree. You see, anyone under the tree had to find food for themselves. I mean, if Dark was so a bird would fall silently and she would share it with her under the tree members. I mean, Dark was so happy because she was part of the group. So, a year later, it's trying to leave, leave the tree. The very moment she said, hey guys, I forgot myself, I'll meet you here at noon, okay? They nodded their heads and Dark dashed off. But I'm going to guess that you guessed that something is up. Well, you're right. She walked up to her parents. This is for ignoring me, hating me, and pushing me away when I needed you. Dark's parents bowed their head and said, we're sorry. Dark felt backhanded. She snarled. That's it. A simple sorry for all those years you attacked my soul. She jumped at her dad and pinned him to the floor. What was it you said to me? The small and the weak must die? He slowly nodded his head. Only following orders. He closed his eyes and accepted his fate, being killed by his daughter. She, <laughs> she lowered her head and clamped her jaws around his neck. Any last words? Yes, he gasped. Make it quick. He opened his eyes. Thanks for showing through all the hard times, Dark. She held on harder. You're, she held on harder. You're welcome. And she pulled back her head, ripping her father's neck clean off. <laughs> she, um, she turned around to see her mom shaking in fear. As for you, Mom, I'm going to make you pay. Scroll down, shall we? Um. Her wait, mom looked up. Wait, her, 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 her mom, mom looked up. up. For what, Run? For mocking Arctic's blind, because Arctic is blind. And how do you think you're going to do that? The reason why I said that, because... Okay, anyway. Dark jumped at her and slashed at her face, cutting out her mom's eyes. <laughs> now you must survive without eyesight, just like Arctic did. Her mom fell, blood seeping the floor. I have just one question. What is it? Why did he kill your father and not me? He did not deserve to, su he did not deserve to suffer. And as for you, I can't say the same. <laughs> her mom bowed her head. You were always around, always will be, but you'll never have the label of around. Instead, you'll have the label Alpha. Dark turned around. I'm and she walked away towards the tree. trees. Anyways, um, Trout, Arctic, and Tyler were, were waiting. Dark padded up. Their first question was, why do you have blood everywhere? <laughs> Dark looked at them. Revenge, that's the name of the book. They smiled. The three of them padded off. This is Dark. And then chapter two, this is chapter one. Chapter two is why she hates her parents so much. Do you want to make a part two, or do you go straight through it? Just straight. Okay. That sounds terrible. Okay, so this is, <laughs> this is five years earlier. Mom, why did you snarl at me? Keep in mind their pups. Mom, why did you snarl at me? Mom, 
him, Ma, her mom spun, spun around and growled, Shut up, your sister's sleeping. Mom, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't know. Dark jumped down from the tree. Your sister's sleeping. Your sister's doing this. Your sister's doing that. Yelp noises. <laughs> Dark, spun Dark spun around to see Tyler, nine years old, being tossed against a tree base. Dark slid next to her dad just when he was about to do it again. What do you want, Run? Dark stared at her brother. Hey, it's you. <laughs> Why are you hurting him? Her dad laughed at her. Because he's too weak. Dark picked up Tyler. So? Her dad glared at her. Isn't it easy to see? The small and the weak must die. Yeah. At all times, no matter what. Her dad leaped at her, but Dark was faster. She ran until she dived under, under their tree and pulled her brother to the back of the tree. After a while, her dad went away and Dark got up the walk. Her feet took her to the Abri du Lunaire. That's French. The tallest tree in the forest. It was taller than the moon, or so they rumored. I mean, you couldn't see the tops of a breed de lunaire, usually barren, except for today. A strange cat was humming, waiting by the phone. This is someone I'll show you later. As he was scratching a tree, Dark tackled him in pen tree. Okay, quick side note. A breed de lunaire means the moon tree, and that's where a great war happened. Okay. Um, what do you think? Impenetri what do you think you're doing? <laughs> His ears were flat against his head, and his eyes were the size of full moons. I, I was, I was sharpening my claws. She pinned him harder. Did you happen to know your scratching post is the grave of wolf that fought in the battle of Abri du Lunaire? He looked lost. Abri du what? Dark let her paws off him. He was clearly a rogue. Well, <laughs> you. S okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Battle of Abri du Lunaire was a great war, war of demon wolf versus angel wolf. The cat looked very interested. Who won? Dark looked at her paws. Greatly no one. Exactly 400 million wolves <laughs> died that day and they put a stop to it. The cat asked finally, what's your name? Oh, that's pretty darn random. Dark, Dark looked at him. Oh, my name is Dark. What's yours? He answered quickly. My name is Club. <laughs> He shuffled to the sheet and looked down. Dark looked at him. That's not your real name, is it? Flood looked sorry and got up and pleaded. I'm sorry, I just I just can't tell anyone my real name. Can I trust you not to tell anyone? Lee. Okay. Um I'm trying to find it. He shuffled his feet. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, wait. Uh Lee chat diffu. G suit I element diffu. That means fire cat, something like that. Dark was almost knocked off her paws. She just met an element. There's only four in the world. The reason he spoke odd. Okay. The reason why he spoke odd is because all the elements were fresh, French or Russian. Mostly French, though. Flood padded up to, to her and said, Can I walk you home? Oh, that is darn random. Dark took a moment <laughs> to think. Um, sure. They walked what seemed to take ages. He asked her questions. Do you like any songs? How many siblings do you have? Sorry. <laughs> Dark with the muse. Don't be sorry. And yes, my favorite song at the moment is perfect. I'll show you that song later. But I have five siblings. Flub smiled. Wow, that's a lot. I don't have three. <laughs> Over 9,000. Dark was days listening to Flub's stories when suddenly. Dark! <laughs> You're home! Trout, Tyler, and Arctic came dashing towards her. Trout turned. Hey, who's that? Then an unsettling voice came. I was just about to ask the same thing. Her mom and dad came around the corner. She felt as if her blood cells suddenly turned to ice. She said the first thing that came to her mind, Run, you guys! She like to murder us. She turned to and ran. She looked over her shoulder and saw a club, trout, arctic, and tie. Oh my god, it's a tag. Running after her. But sadly, not far behind was her mom and dad. But, luckily, they weren't as healthy and young as they were because they ate too many Doritos <laughs> and, and fell behind easily. Dark led them down a dark alley, regretting her choice. Oh, I'm just going down now. Okay. Um, went down a dark alley, regretting her choice almost as fast as she made it. It was Pule du Tonnerre at Lightning's Home. In other words, if you don't know much French, it means rain, lightning, and thunder. She was a beautiful cat, always liked the flub. She had graceful black wings and a jet back, jet black coat. <laughs> oh, and icy blue eyes. She walked up to Flub. How are you doing? <laughs> Flub looked as mad as dark when her mom shushed her. 
I'm not. You're hot. Flub roared Dark out of her thoughts, and when Dark looked at Pilly deep down there at Lightning, her face was just as calm as when they arrived. That's what you think. Dark was amused at Pilly do whatever her name is. So, rain, thunder, rain. How, how could she be so blind? Flub clearly disapproves of her. Before Dark could blink, Pilly du Tonnerre at Lightning was up in the air with her long, graceful, and feathered wings. Dark was amazed, and only four heartbeat, this, four heartbeats, the sky was having a fit of thunder. Suddenly, a fire lashed out from Flub's paws, and he was floating to Pilly, whatever her name is, of level. Wait, dude. Yeah. Y uh, when you said that's what you can, I thought of uh, uh, seeing the universe when Rui was like, that's what you can. God, I'm gonna throw a flame baby into you for the day. Fire. Um, a moment of pause was waiting. Then electricity and fire was sparking. Wait, of pause. Of of pause. <laughs> okay. Pause. Okay. Okay. Of pause. Okay. Okay. That's, that's Flub's mood ring. Um, a moment of pause was waiting, then electricity and fire was sparking everywhere. Dark felt useless, useless uh, along with her brothers and sisters. Suddenly, a black mass was pulling around her paws, and a green flame was coming from the sides of her mouth. Oh my god. Also, a long, skinny horn shot, shot from her head. She couldn't believe, believe it. She was an helmet? But what kind? She was the fifth one. No, there was only four. Flub looked down, and he said, she's... The chosen fifth on the, oh my god, a prophecy. Dark looked back at, there was black feathered wings. Dark was now the element of death. That means there are six elements. Fire, storm, and death. They'd have to find the other three if only her parents saw her now. Me. Is, is that, is that good? Yeah, do you want to listen to Waiting by the Phone? Perfect. Alright, bye guys.